Here I am, send me. The eyes of the Lord search the whole earth in order to strengthen those whose hearts are fully committed to him. Isaiah 6, 8 says, Then I heard the Lord asking, Whom should I send as a messenger to these people? Who will go on our behalf? I said, Here I am, send me. God is looking for faithful men and women that he would empower to accomplish his purpose on earth. In Matthew 9, Jesus had had a long day. His day began when one of the leaders of the synagogue came and pleaded with him. He wanted Jesus to go with him and lay hands on his daughter who had just passed away. After Jesus had left the the girl's home, two blind men followed him. They pleaded for him to have mercy on them and heal them, and their sight was restored. After those had left, a demon-possessed man who couldn't speak was brought to Jesus, and he left able to speak again. Jesus traveled through all the towns and villages of that area, teaching in the synagogues and announcing the good news about the kingdom. He healed all kinds of disease and illnesses. The Bible says when he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were confused and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. He said to his disciples, The harvest is great, but the laborers are few. So pray to the Lord who is in charge of the harvest. Ask him to send more workers into his fields. Heaven is waiting on us to heed the call and join in the harvest. God will not force his agenda and purpose on us, but he will use us if we voluntarily offer ourselves to his cause. The Bible is full of ordinary people whom God empowered to do extraordinary things. Even now, God is searching the whole earth for hearts that are committed to him so he can empower them to accomplish his purpose. He's looking for those who, like Isaiah, will offer themselves to be sent on his behalf. May we be a generation that will say, Here I am, Lord, send me.